Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now I looked around and I found the army. I found the army we're looking for. It's right over there. I'm going to walk over there and kill it. Also we have another like boat section. Like another navy I guess just sitting in the middle of the sea. I wouldn't recommend that as just something to do. Just leave your boats hanging out in the middle of the sea. But we did. Oh they don't have enough men to siege it. Oh that's uh, that's so pathetic. Right, we'll go kill them. Um, oh, it's one of our childs gained a uh, slothful. Not good. Children. Childs. Really. Oh, we lost ill. Good. We'll survive. Severone is uh, slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Good. We caught the army before they managed to escape. And won that. Just head over to Old Volantis. Win that war. Where are we heading now? Volantis. Okay, we'll head back. Just continue chasing him down. Killing his army every time. Uh, temple of the whatever. Dead. 27%. You want a white piece? They'll take, I'll take white piece. Uh, go back to Volantis. Um, Swivone. We'll get her patient if we can. And do we win the war? Well, we do we get the white piece? There we go, white piece. Disband the army. And we are finally at peace. We can let this uh, giant amount of levy that we have actually replenish. Because then once we, once we have 18,000 men, we've got like a serious army to contend with. But before then, we, we just, we're just kind of waiting. So Cosmo doesn't need to go into hiding. Um, let's see. Do we have any vassals who should be under someone else? No. We have a lot of titles down there that I don't like being independent, but that's not the same thing. Like, I don't like them being not underneath a pirate. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait about uh, a year, then we're going to go off and do something else. And the reason we're going to do that is just so that we don't actually, like, so that we have time to let our levies replenish. So we don't put ourselves in a position where we have to, you know, do anything skillful to win the wars. We can just calmly wait the wait the time out and then head back. Um, too cynical for age. Cynical is alright. Yeah, cynical's alright. There we go. She can have cynical. Uh, Moors of Northfield of Northfield uh, wants to get married. Oh, so I guess that means our daughter is dead. Yeah, you can go marry as you please. Please, uh, I don't care. Uh, well, Lando have approved the institution of uh, medium city taxes. Who are the, who's the Iron Throne at war with? Let's have a look here. King Ormond of the Iron Throne. Ormond Baratheon, son of Aegon, who was son of Edric. So we're a couple generations down, actually, in the Iron Throne. Ormond, uh, his mother was a Dornish woman? No, just a low, like low, oh no, it's Salt Dornish, I was right. Um, anything else about him? Grandparents Edric and Asher, no grandparents on the other side, only two sets of grandparents. Uh, siblings, Archibald and Lewin. Hmm, okay, Stormlands has Elegane, ill ruler of Wagstaff. Never heard of that group. Dornish still has the Martells in charge. Prince Doran II. Highgarden has Paramount Robert Tyrell. Parent was Arthur, who was killed in personal combat. Okay. Westerlands, we have Lord Paramount uh, Sumner. Sumner Lannister. Tybalt and J Jason. I don't recognize any of these people. It must have been a whole bunch of Lannisters died off. Riverlands, we have uh, Tullys, who have uh, Hoster Tullys. This is the same path that it should be going down. And that's Joffrey Lannister, the second. Um, vale has uh, Royce in charge, and Royce. Uh, hmm, I don't know, not that important. Oh my. Lord, winter is taking over up there. I guess there aren't any uh, Starks around. 
Yeah. Um, where's Winterfell? Meredith Tully. Oh, that's held by a Tully. What happened to the Starks? Uh, we can go to Winterfell to see who the last Stark was. Uh, Torrin Stark was the last one. How did he lose it? Conquer oh, and was then conquered by the Tullys. And he is still paramount of the North. But he's not joined this war. Okay, I see. Weird. Very weird. Also, who... who I forgot to check who they went to war with. Um, oh, the invasion of winter. Oh, so they're actually going to war of winter. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's not really a pirate thing to worry about, because we are currently worrying about all of this. Um, okay, how many men do we have now? 10,000. Yeah, we'll wait. Um, maybe till December or something, then we'll start to go to go places. Uh, no. Not going to do whatever you just suggested, because I just don't want to. Right, uh, pirates do not necessarily follow strict rules. Yes, you need to be slightly better at what, you, what you're what you doing. My courtier, um... I, I don't care. We're not going to spend any money on her. Um... Yeah, let's wait till September, then we'll declare some more wars. There we go, and September. Actually, September the 4th, because I think that's when the tick usually happens. We have 11,000 men. What are we going to do with them? I think we're going to finish off down here, actually. I would like to take over Lotus Point. Uh, pirate Invasion of Wallando. Or Claim Lotus Point. We could just use Claim Lotus Point. That's fine. It's not piracy, so that's great. You, we do not have a truce with, so we'll declare war for that. We'll declare war for this one. Is that everything here that we could possibly declare wars for? I think it is. I just want to finish these islands, then we'll move on to... I think... Are these the Basilisk Islands? I have no idea. Ooh, that's an interesting... There's a new relig... There's another religion over there I didn't notice. Right. Um, do we want to just kind of spawn our troops here-ish? So, like... I only has 900. He has 1,000. Where are the men? Does the other person have all of them? Like, do you have every single man? Uh, uh, and our black? Are you the strongest person in our realm? Um, no, it should be Illyrio. Should be stronger. And hey, many people should be stronger. Um, interesting. How about if we raise some men here? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm actually just going to raise all of our men, just so that we can have a look around. We'll probably raise boats as well and things. Uh, yes, don't need any of those. Don't need them. How many men have we not raised? About 700 so far. Yeah, okay. Don't need that one. Is that really... That's about 9,000. Yeah, so nearly everything is coming from this guy. Did the rest just not like us or something? Like, um, you don't like us? Not as much. Hmm, I don't know. Well, it's not that important. Uh, we should probably raise boats. I guess we'll raise your boats. How many men is that? 21,000? Should do. Just wait for them to get on all of these boats. All merge up. Might actually just be worth wait getting those guys to wait. Just because we can move the boats over there quicker than they can actually get over to us. Like we can do this kind of jump. Uh, may humor is rot in your living body. Yes, of course, that's your uh, traditional hello to me. Uh, we'll just head down to this province here. Uh, our leaders, I think, are still set. Yep, they are. Good. Oh, except that this uh, should be Ander in the center and Harland on the flank. There we go. Because he is an inspiring leader. It's kind of a waste not to have them in the center. Right. Just tack in. We, we'll call in our allies. They're going to say no, but we'll call them in anyway. It's the... Uh, it's uh, the... Um, it's the thought. Uh, it's not the, what I was going for, but it's, yeah, it's the, spot, it's the thought that counts. Oh, we captured Lord uh, Florian. 
I guess we'll just enforce our demands. There we go. Done. Just wait where you are. Uh, we have a prison. Oh, no, I guess we let him go. And he should like us a lot more now. Yeah. That actually gives us another 3,000 men, him liking us a little bit more. I'm worried at how strong we made him, actually. If, if like, that's how many more men we've got from that. Um, yeah, we'll head these guys down. We probably want to just go and win the fight and then head to his land. Just uh, land here. Unmarried heir. Okay. Let's find someone for you to marry. Um, probably somebody with high marshal to make up from your, for your marshal. Jolene Black. There we go. That'll do. He accepted it. We inherited the High Lordship of Omboro, which is great because it means that we now have some title. Oh, what is Omboro? Um, we have a lot of titles we probably shouldn't have. Uh, is this it? Would this be part of the High Lordship of Omboro? Yeah. Uh, you know what we're going to do with the High Lordship? We're actually just going to pick uh, somebody. How about Wolando here? That'd be Lord Harland the Widowmaker. We will grant him the High Lordship of Omboro. There we go. That solves our problems. And... Are we landed yet? We've landed. A Rylor of Revolt. Okay. Not that good. Um, Mac and Quo has occupied my rightful seat. I'll stop at nothing to take it from him. Like, you hate me. No, I don't care. Like, if you if you were someone whose opinion I cared about, I would give you the money. But uh, you're not. Because you're always going to be at negative 100. Just uh, get that one down. Oh, we captured someone in battle. Good. Uh, what can we do with this person? Ransom them back for 25 gold? Definitely. Uh, confer... Uh, concerned that Pinto has been designated regent should it be needed. I am worried that he is unsuitable and would divide the realm. My supporters now ask that you remove him at once and appoint me as his regent. Our spymaster. Who is Pinto? Okay. We're, we're getting more opinion by uh, removing him than we are from keeping him. And it's our spymaster's opinion which means that we're unlikely to get backstabbed. Oh. Uh, that looks. Oh, we can get 10 gold or we can sell him for 15. Well, I'm sorry. 15 gold. And we got it quicker. I mean, it's just. If they make it easier, we're just gonna do it. Salt that down 100%. Oh, we got important uh, prisoners. Oh, we captured the leader. Again. Enforced demands. Taking over all of that. He is now directly under our control. Uh, and then we can just head down to this uh, group here. Yeah, this these wars are going fairly easily. Where's the revolt, anyway? Uh, it's up there. Can we raise any men up here? Oh. 300. That's actually worryingly almost enough. Right. Uh, let's just move around here. Do we want to just kill his army? I think we'll just kill his army first. Um, Craven? No, no, no. We're not getting Craven. I don't care what else she gets. He's not getting Craven. Hunted Dog ran away and went roaming the castle. He was very aggressive, chasing several servants and sending them fleeing terror. Then came upon my favourite dog, one of your courtiers attacked and killed it. Mm, well, you know. He'll do what he does. Uh, Miru. I'm trying to see if we have a better, like, son like to be in charge. That is Prince Severone. He's close, but not quite good enough. Yeah, Cosimo is so close to being perfect. I, I actually think that once he hits, um, like once he gets his education trait, he'll be fine. Yeah, once he gets, uh, I think he's getting a Marshall one, he'll be fine. Won't he? Yeah, that would give him at least two Marshall. Just need to hope we don't die before, like in this next year, because that would be awful. Just awful. 
Right. Made our way round. Aha, uh -huh. we're gonna catch you. Rogo is no longer Admiral, we need a... Uh... How about Zawin can be our Admiral and we get him to train troops in our capital? Let's see what's this, train children? Ooh, no, he can train our children. That's much better. You should be collecting taxes. Uh, I don't really care what you do. I don't really need you to improve relations with anyone or fabricate any claims. You can pacify our capital's province. That'll work. We could call people into the war, but I'm getting the feeling that it's probably just not worth calling them. Like they're just going to say no, because we're pirates and they don't like us. It, it's, uh, I'm not going to take it personally. They would hate any pirate. And they're a We need another leader. Um, how about Briar? There we go. Oh my lord, they're quick. They're just off like a rocket. Let's see if we can catch them. Uh, come on. Oh, they are moving really slowly. Um, you can marry whoever you like. I don't really mind who you marry. And... And we got to the army. Perfect. Won the battle. Head into Lotus Hills. Just win this battle as well. And then probably head to his capital and win that. Did that wipe out all of his men? It did. Perfect. Capital and we'll see if we can capture a prisoner or something. That'd be nice. Salt it down. Um, I've fallen to the temptations of slothfulness. There are things I've neglected in my castle. Things that I have uh, that should have been done but I postponed them. Virtues are not worth it. Oh, so we can lose diligent. We have a chance of getting stressed. Oh. We're going to have to lose diligent. Like, I just don't, I don't want to die. Important prisoners. Wow, that's a lot of prisoners. And we've won the war. So what we need to do is we need to very quickly uh, just search through these. See if there's anyone who we can sell off. So you're only worth 10 gold. Wait, how old are you? You are 56. So we'll uh, sell you off, definitely. Uh, sell into slavery. See if anybody's going to say yes. Nope. Ah, there's 15 gold. 18 year old, perfect. Sail into slavery. Someone will be interested, I'm sure. 15 gold, there we go. Uh, one year old, sail into slavery. Try and get more gold. 15 gold, there we go. 20 year old, sail into slavery. Shouldn't take too long. Come on, does nobody have any money left? Is that the problem? They actually don't have enough money to make an offer for the slave. Mm, that might be it, actually. All right, 15 gold. And another one year old. Perfect. 15 gold. We'll now just uh, enforce our demands. Taking all of that land. Does that come straight underneath us? I think it did. Uh, a few of them did. We can usurp the title, the Principality of uh, Sweet Lotus Vale. What's that? Is that... Uh, Alright, so that's a duchy level title. We'll usurp it. Then we will give... I guess we'll give one of these other pirate people under our control. Like that. Like, Oyo of Dark Den can now be granted the High Lordship of Sweet Lotus Vale. He likes us a lot. And we don't need to worry about it. Perfect. Um, now we're just at war for the mutiny. Let's get them over here. Get our army in place. How many men do we have now? Yeah, about an four, another 5,000 we could raise if we wanted to. Uh, mutiny is up here. Perfect. Let's go grab that. There might be some more um, vassal management we could do. Some more uh, land management we can do. But we're generally alright right now. Oh, is Cosmo old enough to... Yes, he's 15 Marshall. He is the chosen one. He's actually able to inherit. Fantastic. Let's uh, try try just chasing him and grabbing him. Uh, you'd like me to back your plot to kill Pinto. No, I don't know why everyone hates Pinto, but I guess he really uh, annoyed someone somewhere. 
Cosmos shall make a fine warrior. Oh, skilled fighter. That is great. Does that also give... Wait, did that give him health? That is insane. Vassal opinion and health. Wow. That's really, really good. Force demands. We will now exile this prisoner. Disband the army. Disband the army. And we're in a pretty good position. We got another 4,000 troops there. We control pretty much all the land down. In fact, do we, do we actually control all the land down here? Yeah. We've, we've uh, completely got all the southern isles. Now, we could attack into here. I think is the Basilisk Isles. They're all pirates, which is good. Because that would give us a pirate bonus. Um, yeah, that gives us the pirate bonus. I uh, suppose there's no reason not to go down there. And also, they wouldn't attack us for, like, you know, declaring wars. Um... We could also attack into Tyrosh if we wanted to. They only have 3,000 men and one ally who they can't call in. I mean, that could work pretty well. How many men do we need to siege this down? Like, 4,000? Is that it? Oh, it was the castle. That's the problem. Castle has 10,000 garrison size, so we'd need at least 10,000 to siege it. We have 10,000. We could do it. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.